Hello now with Helen Willett. Hello. Hello, George. From lovely cakes to lovely scenery. Don't you just want to be here? This was today on the Isle of Wight and it wasn't too far away where we had 17 degrees, our day's top temperature. Not quite as high as yesterday, but still it's October. It's well above average. We've had a bit more cloud around. That's the real, real reason today. But we're bathed in a southwesterly airstream, so it stays mild. It's just that rogue weather front up in the north, which is giving some sharp bursts of rain at the moment. But they will peter out as they head southwards overnight introducing a bit more breeze a bit more cloud in the south and so that should alleviate too many fog problems but there will still be some patchy fog around in the morning to the north of the weather for actually quite a chilly night and that chilly air is just making a brief appearance because for most of us throughout friday and into the weekend the southwesterly mild weather returns so it's still good news if you're on half term tomorrow does look a little bit cloudier in southern areas and there'll be a little bit of dank weather around some hill fog actually across parts of the welsh mountains and up into northern England. But if the sun breaks through, as it has done today, we'll see those temperatures soaring up to probably 16s, 70s, even 18s again. To the north of that, the far north of northern England and Scotland, not such high temperatures, but brighter skies, just a few showers until the weather front returns later. And it may well be sat overhead across Northern Ireland for much of the day. Come Saturday, it's further north again. So for most of us, we're in that swathe of warm, mild air, early mist and fog therefore settled weather following on behind with some brightness and sunshine and temperatures again lifted above average for this time of year. The difference on Sunday is that the weather front advances a little further in across Northern Ireland and Scotland. There's probably a little bit more rain around here for the second half of the weekend, but hopefully elsewhere a bit more sunshine in contrast. Now it's Diwali this weekend, but as well as that, just bear in mind that the clocks are going back as well. George. Thank you, Helen. A reminder of our...